Thank you for joining me for another BuzzFeed quiz thingy. My name is Kuzco. <laughs> We're gonna be doing Harry Potter, uh, Harry Potter quiz stuff now because I enjoyed the Twilight quiz so much that I was like, you know what? Why not just do some more quizzes? And what better type of quiz to do than a freaking Harry Potter quiz? So let's see how much knowledge I have for Harry Potter spells. I'm gonna try to keep to specifically Harry Potter spells for quizzes in this, and hopefully it won't like veer off towards uh, the history of Harry Potter and the books and stuff like that. I think that can be saved for a later video, but I really wanna focus on spells for this one. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Which incantation protects you from Dementors? Expecto Patronium. Uh, which incantation unlocks stores? I think a lot of these are probably going to be pretty easy, especially since it's BuzzFeed. Uh, which incantation summon things? Accio. Uh, which incantation starts a fire? Uh, incendio. Yeah, most of these are probably going to be fairly easy from BuzzFeed. I think if I were to go to like one of the Harry Potter quiz sites, like the official ones, they would probably have a little bit more like obscure spell stuff. Uh, which incantation extinguishes one light? That would be Nox. Which incantation wraps people in ropes in Carceris? Uh, which incantation conjures the dark mark? That would be Morse Mord. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I don't know Latin that well. Which incantation causes a spell or, or a small fire explosion? Um, that would be Confringo, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which incantation creates an invisible shield? That would be Protego. Uh, which incantation causes a rip or tear in objects? <gasps> oh, I believe that's Defindo. Yeah, that's from the that's from the games. I don't think they ever used Defindo in the books, did they? Did they use Defindo in the books? I know Flipendo was a huge one in the games. I don't think that was used in the books at all. I think that was strictly just the games. I have no idea, but I got it right. That was really, really cool. I don't remember them doing Defendo. Maybe I do. I don't know. Regardless, that actually turned out really, really well. Um, let me, I, I feel like I can probably find a much harder spells quiz. Let me try to find one real quick and see if there's something there. Okay. So I did manage to find a different spells quiz. I went away from uh, BuzzFeed because I had a feeling there probably wasn't going to be too many obscure spells that were showing up in a BuzzFeed quiz. Although I didn't look too heavily, I just kind of Googled it and I managed to find this one. Um, by the way, if you want to take these quizzes yourself before I get through them, you can certainly do so. They will be in the description below. So as, as per usual, but regardless, let's just go ahead. Uh, which Harry Potter spell is used to summon objects? Uh, Accio. I can't remember if that was one that we... I, I'm not really gonna remember ones that we did in the BuzzFeed quiz, but, you know, it's whatever. Uh, what is the spell Alohomora used for? That one I know we did, which was unlocking doors. Uh, what spell... What is the spell Colaportis used for? Oh, um... I think that's locking doors. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, although it can be countered with Alohomora... The object will not be able to be opened by muggles. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, which spell is using... Does that also pertain to picking a lock? I'm assuming so, since magic obviously seals the door and locks it. That's interesting. Uh, which spell is used to treat uh, minor injuries? Uh, I believe... I wouldn't say this is... A pisky isn't just minor injuries isn't it because it was used to heal harry's nose but i don't know if it makes sense for all injuries uh spells used in the series to yeah yeah, yeah after it's been broken but i don't know if it heals all minor injuries does it which of these is not an unforgivable curse uh sectum sempra technically even though it should be it really should be with the way that it's meant to be used technically Technically, if the Ministry were to get a hold of this spell, they would probably more than likely think of it as a dark curse because its usage is meant to harm the other person. And all three of the Unforgivables are meant 
to be harmful for the other person when cast against them. So Sectum Semper would technically need to be an unforgivable if it was classified as such by the Ministry. I feel like it should be, but maybe there's other uses to it? I don't think so. Uh, the spell Obliviate is used to do what? That would be to, uh, <laughs> to blindfold, so to remove, it, technically it's to remove, like, all memories, not just a memory. Um, the spell backfired and he couldn't even remember his own name, that was hilarious. I laughed so hard when that happened in the movies. Uh, let's see, what spell is used to clean objects? That would be Scourgeify. Salvio Hexia. Uh, Scorchify is used to clean objects in one of Snape's memories. James Potter has been seen using the spell against him. Oh, really? Huh, I don't remember that. What is the spell Hermione has seen teaching Ron in the Sorcerer's Stone? I guess Wingardium Leviosa. Technically, she helped him. She didn't teach him, and he didn't care. Which of these spells is a severing charm? Uh, that would be Defendo. Yeah. It's used to sever things. Harry is seen using the spell on his Defense Against the Dark Arts textbook as well as Cedric's Satchel. Yeah, that's right. Uh, which spell is used to turn off other spells? Turn off? Well, to counter the spell, I guess, would be Finite Incantatum. Um, the duration or activity. The spell can be shortened to Finite with the same result. Which is weird. Why is that? Does it... I want to know if it, like, lessens the effects, or if, like, if you can just do finite, then why even bother saying the whole spell? Why bother saying the whole spell for a lot of them? You know? I don't know. Uh, what is the spell for producing fire? That would be incendio. Yeah. As seen in the sixth film, it is effective to- It's all- What- Didn't- Didn't Hermione use incendio? Uh, of Oh, no, she used, uh- she used something else for frickin' uh, Snape's robes in the first movie. That's right. Uh, what is the name of the spell James Potter used on Severus Snape to hang him upside down? That was Levicorpus. Right. Her first introduces the spell in the Order of the Phoenix. Harry looks into Pensieve and sees his father using the spell on Snape. What a dick. Which of these spells is the opposite of the Lumo spell? That would be Nox. That uh, counters it to turn it off. Which... Do you absolutely... Well, I suppose... Most wizards would probably just be able to wave their wand and Lumos would turn out, correct? Although you do see Harry using Nox when he's in the third year. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, Petrificus Totalis is known as what kind of its body binding? Yeah. Uh, which of these spells is used to counter the charm to Engorgio? Uh, Reducio. Gorgio is a charm to enlarge things, so naturally is uh, the counter spell is Reducio. Yeah. Which of these spells is used to torture the victim? Crucio. Yeah. I don't know any of these spells. I, I don't know what those are. I don't even know if they're actually spells. And if they are, then I'm glad that they're not on this list right now. What color is the Avada Kedavra? That would be green. Could you imagine if the spell was, like, blue or white? How, like... How, like, just very anticlimactic that, that would be. Green is so, like... Green is such a good color for it because it's specifically a poisonous type of color. And green is very much the color of, like, Oh my god, this is probably dangerous. As well as red. So seeing something blue or white just wouldn't make sense. What is a spell that is used to fend off Dementors? That would be Expecto Patronium. What spell- I know it's Patronum, but it's just- whatever. What spell are Harry and his cat classmates taught to fend off Boggarts? That would be ridiculous. Yeah. Which of these is a vanishing spell? That would be, uh, Evanesco. Yeah. Severus Snape can be seen using this spell in the fifth installment. Really? Oh, yeah, 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 he does, he does. Okay, never mind. Uh, what does the spell Expelliarmus do? Disarm! Yeah! Uh, the spell is often used by Harry Potter, which is so crazy that that's his, like, signature spell. Uh, which of these spells involve mind control? Imperio. Unforgivable. Which spell did Dumbledore use to slow down Harry's Potter when he- uh, Potter? <laughs> oh my god! Learn how to speak! 
Harry's body when he fell off his broom in a Quidditch match. Uh, Arresto Momentum. Yeah. Uh, Dumbledore uses Arresto Momentum to slow down his movement, which causes him to fall off his broom. Oh, when it causes him to fall off his broom. Sorry, not which. <laughs> Dumbledore tried to kill Harry in very many fan fictions. Which spell does Hermione use to fix Harry's glasses on the Hogwarts' bed? That would be Oculus Reparo. Uh, what spell does Vincent Crabbe cast in the Room of Requirement that creates a huge fire? That would be Fiend Fire. Yes. It is uncontrollable and it killed him. Uh, although it did kill... Um, it killed Goyle in the movie, actually. And Blaze was the one that got out. In the movies. In the books, it was different. Uh, which of these spells did Harry use to bring himself to the top of the Black Lake? Uh, that was Ascendio. Yeah. That was interesting. Uh, let's see. Which of these spells turns an item into a port key? Uh, oh, God. I Portis, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we see the first use of port keys in the fourth Harry Potter installment when the group travels, which it wasn't very used. Um, I feel like the port key was used very rarely in the series versus like apparition. And I, I understand the, the idea behind it obviously would be like, especially towards the later books when the war is going on, they obviously don't want to just use port keys because that would take too damn long. But yeah, it was it was definitely an underused uh, thing throughout the series, even before the war. Uh, which of these spells would allow you to see someone's thoughts and memories? Legilimens. Yeah. Which of these spells allows you to lift something and move it at your will? Oh, uh... Oh, it was Lacarnum and Flamare that she used on Snape's uh, stuff. Uh, technically, Locomotor. Yeah. Which is cool. Lumos is used to light which of these things? The wands, yeah. Just It just uh, acts as a flashlight. Which of these spells is meant to stun the victim? Stupefy! <laughs> you get stupefied! So every time I see that spell, I think of that song. Uh, it's used to stun the victim and one of the spells that Harry relies on uh, during Doublesworth's Army. Which is totally, like, understandable. If you stun the victim, you you don't have to kill them. At the very least, you you make them, like, unable to do anything for a while. Which of these spells creates the... That's more smart. Yeah. Which of these spells block sounds from the victim's ear? Uh, that's Silencio, yeah? Oh! From the victim's... Oh! I went too fast. Silencio is to silence someone from talking. Damn it. Alright, whatever. It doesn't matter. Which of these healing spells will stop a victim from choking? Uh, Anapneo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, spells used by Horus Slughorn. Right. Uh, during one of the Slug Club party. It was after the Slug Club party. But, whatever. Which of these spells will duplicate something? Um. Oh, God. Is it... Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like, just like Gemini, it will duplicate it. I got 97 because I only got one freaking wrong, and I'm so angry at myself. I could have gotten all of them right if I would have just slowed down. But it's okay. That's that's totally fine for me. That was actually not too terribly bad. So I think that's gonna do it for me. Uh, that was actually a really, really good one. That was way better than the BuzzFeed one. Um, but only because obviously BuzzFeed used all the like popular spells. Although I do have to say that there were quite a few popular spells and repeats in this one, but this one did go into a little bit more like obscure type of spells that you probably wouldn't really know from just the movies as well. There were a few things from just the books, which is nice. That's kind of what I was looking for. So maybe we'll do some more of these if I can find some more uh, really, really cool spell quizzes. Um, otherwise, I, I do want to do a history one as well for Harry Potter. That would be really, really dope. So. Anyways, hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, uh, please do leave a like down there and leave a comment if you would like to uh, d give me any other type of quizzes that you want me to do. I will definitely be willing to do them. Uh, otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.